Good afternoon with your GTV Sports Update. I'm Stephen McTeer. Pittsburgh State University will be hosting the Citizens Bank Bowl at Carney Smith Stadium on Sunday, December 2nd. This game marks the end of the junior college football season and in the past has served as an unofficial national championship game. Some notable players that have played in this game are Cam Newton, former quarterback of the Auburn Tigers and now the starting quarterback for Carolina Panthers, and Zach Mettenberger, quarterback of the LSU Tigers. Northeastern Oklahoma A&M College out of Miami, Oklahoma will battle the College of DuPage from Glen Ellen, Illinois. Tickets are $5 for students and can be purchased at the ticket office. Kickoff is set for 1 p.m. The women's cross country team ended their season on a high note once again, making it to the Division II National Championship. The event was held in Joplin, Missouri, and was home to more than 200 plus runners at the Missouri Southern Cross Country Course. PSU raced to a 24th place finish out of the 32 team field with senior Kaylee Piemont leading the Gorilla Squad with a 73rd place finish overall. Sophomore Alex Most finished 91st while sophomore Bridget McCormick, Kate Dunn and junior Casey Epps came up big to finish as the remaining top five runners for Pitt. Although it was familiar territory, Nationals does bring out a different feel to the event with hundreds of spectators scattered everywhere, sometimes running from spot to spot around the course just to get a good look at the action. Coach Jewett had this, had this to say when asked how he felt about his squad making it to Nationals for the third straight year. Well, I think it was, the big deal was that we qualified. We were sort of a marginal qualifier. We knew that it would be hard to get to the Nationals. We did it, and then we didn't emotionally collapse or anything. Our girls raced really well. We focused well. Uh, we were in great position at about the four kilometer point. And then we had a couple of girls have some physical issues and, and we fell back a little bit. But I was really proud of the women today, not only just for qualifying, but, but also for, for coming and competing with their hearts and uh, being there for each other. And, and I think representing Pittsburgh State in good fashion. Both Pittsburgh State basketball teams were in action last night as they hosted the Cardinals of William Jewell at John Lance Arena. The number three ranked Lady Gorillas got the action going but got off to a rough start as they went down by double digits early in the game and trailed by as many as 17 points in the first half. Coach Lord's squad didn't give up as they battled back to cut the lead to six at halftime. After a back and forth second half, the Gorillas found themselves down 68 to 66 with three seconds left but a last second three point attempt rattled out and that score would stand as the Gorillas lose their first game of the season despite 15 points from Lizzie Geronimus. And it was time for the Gorilla men to take the floor and battle the Cardinals. The men started just as the women did digging themselves an early hole in the first half. It took the Gorillas almost nine minutes to tie the game up at 43. It was neck and neck from then on as the Gorillas were able to complete the comeback and forced overtime. The Gorillas were able to pull away in the extra period and outscore William Jewell 12-7 to claim the hard-fought victory by a final score of 74-69. The Gorillas were paced by Courtney Ingram, who had 16 points in the contest. The first annual Gorillas Got Talent will take place tonight in John Lance Arena at 7 o'clock. The Pittsburgh State Student Athlete Advisory Committee is hosting the event. This event will feature Pittsburgh State student athletes showing off their hidden talents. There will be at least one performance from each athletic team and the winner will be declared by a group of local celebrity judges. All proceeds from the event will go towards the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Fans can also have their voice heard and the final decision by making a donation to Make-A-Wish. For each dollar donated, that specific team will earn one fan vote. 